Hey Tubes, this is what I'm going to do today. I don't know where this video is going to correspond with the rest of the stuff because sometimes they jump around. You know, you may have seen a video of this done already, I don't know, but uh, that's just the way things go. What I did is I sandblasted this manifold. It came out good. I'm happy with it. I just got on cleaning it and blasting it. And now I'm going to do body work. I'm going to fill in these little, little spaces here. What, what we're aiming to do is trying to make this look like one pipe you know instead of all these pieces soldered together I know a lot of you guys are saying you should have left the copper and stuff like that you know you know it, it looked like copper but it's not what we're going for we're going for a look that would look like uh, a pipe that would come out of Briggs factory in 1950 but I'm just going to use regular body filler on it this stuff right here it's uh, just standard stuff I've, I've been using this stuff for 40 years. I kind of like it. You know, it's it's no different than Bondo. It's just, you know, that's what I started out using when I was a kid. I think, I think it'll hold up. I mean, it's not going to get that hot. It is just an intake manifold, and the hottest, the hottest part will be uh, the flanges up against the block. And if we have trouble with it, and, you know, and something happens, we just redo it with uh, some epoxy instead of just body filler. But also, we're, we're going to be uh, doing the rest of this, and I'll show you how I put that, uh, that high heat epoxy on. I like the way it came out. That stuff, that stuff sands real nice. So uh, let, me, uh, let me start doing that, and uh, I'll try and show you in between what's going on. All right. All right, guys, let me show you where we're at here. I did the, the body work where I wanted to, filled in the areas, made the bends and the, the corners here make it look a little better like it's uh, you know one piece of material. So I like that. I still have to uh, put the little glazing putty on there because there are a couple little, uh, like right here, little, little indents and stuff. But uh, I like the way that came out. And then down here on the exhaust, I sanded the epoxy on that. And I like the way that came out too. So I'm going to uh, put it on on that one and the end one here and that little knuckle. But down here on the bottom where it's uh, like right there where it's not too bad. I think I'm going to try JB Weld. You know it's a little thinner and it's supposed to be good up to 500 degrees. I don't know that I believe that but we're going to try it. And right now I said I'm going to show you how to use this uh, PC Fahrenheit, but I only got eight minutes to work. I don't know if you can see that because of the glare, but right there it says work time eight minutes. But what it is is uh, it's got the epoxy on the outside and the hardener in the middle there. And what you do is you just squeeze it together and knead it in between your fingers and mix it till it's all one color. And then you gotta try and wrap it around here. That's pretty tricky. So you know, like I said, I only got eight minutes to work, so I can't play around with the camera. So I'll, I'll do it and show you what it looks like when it's done okay alright finished putting the epoxy on uh, the rest of this thing where I wanted to I decided instead of go with JB Weld on the bottom there the little bead I, I just went with the other stuff and I'll show you why JB Weld takes 24 hours to harden and this stuff here only an hour you see this I just put this on and the stuff I put on first is already rock hard so I, I could continue working on this thing Instead of waiting until tomorrow morning. Or actually tomorrow afternoon. Alright. Let me uh, get sanded on that and we'll show it to you when we're done. Alright tubes, I got the, just about all the body work done on the, the exhaust pipe here. I, just, I still have to sand this last one. But it, it looks pretty good, I like it. But uh, our buddy Mike stopped over here. How you doing? What you doing here Mike? I'm going to clean up the uh, the carburetor here. The old water. Delordo. Yep, the old Delordo. Wow, look at that. Shine like a new penny. Yeah, looking better, looking better. Wow. Got it completely disassembled. He did. He disassembled it, cleaned it, sandblasted it. Yep. Every every little part. So uh, Got to get everything clean. There's only problems down the line. So no. you got to start from scratch and just take your time and clean every little bit. we actually seen one of these uh, carburetors on eBay over in Great Britain. For two hundred and fifty dollars, yeah, with forty dollars shipping. 
And we, we picked this one up for five bucks at the flea market. Yep, five bucks. You never know what you're going to stumble on. And we didn't know what the hell it was. Eric, right, the time. If we, if we knew what it was, it wouldn't have been that price. <laughs> yeah, if, if you knew what it was, right. Yeah, if any of us. All right, we'll show you that. Mike has that uh, laid out, all the parts right, and go stuff. Back together, yep. Yeah, we'll show you an exploded view. Alrighty. And then I'll show you the exhaust pipe when I finish it. It's almost ready for paint. Alrighty. Alright, tubes, there it is. The exploded view. I started to put it back in. Yeah, Delorto. What is that? The, what do they call that? The throttle? Uh, throttle spool. Spool? Yeah. That's what I call it. Okay, there's a lot of little parts here. Alright, we'll show it to you when it's back together. Meanwhile, I'm working on our intake manifold here. I'm just about finished. Final sanding. I got that end one done. And I'm working on the middle one here, and the other two aren't complete yet, so. I'll show you that when it's done, too. Might even paint it for you. All right. All right, tubes. Our buddy Mike uh, cleaned that carburetor. It looks brand new. Man. Look at it. Shine like a new penny. Show us how it works, Mike. Well, we don't have a throttle cable set up into it now, but usually, uh, you know, you have a cable going in here, and that would there's a spring return spring inside here. You pull the throttle, and it'll pull the spool open. Right. This here is just a choke lever, not really a lever, just a little pull rod. Huh. So, once we get the throttle set up, we'll show you that. But that's what it's going to look like sitting on there. All right. And the manifold, the intake manifold, is almost done too. So. Yeah. All right, looking good, buddy. Alrighty. Let's uh, move on to something else. Alrighty. Oh wait, guess who came? A little dirt bike and daddy dirt bike. I can't get rid of these guys. Nope. Alright, we'll see you later. Alright Tubes, got Mike working on his uh, pistons here. Yep. Clean them all up. We got four of them. Daddy dirt bike's got a five horse Briggs over there he's working on. But we got a little dirt bike. He's on a special mission over here for us. You got a sandblaster. He put it on a sandblaster. My sandblaster's over here. It wasn't good enough for him. Yep. He had to bring his own. Got to admit, though, it's quite nice. Now, actually, he brought it over because he has a flip top. And it's easier to put this, this block in there. He's going to sandblast our block for us. Mine here goes in from the side. And it's, it's just so heavy to, to play games with. But he's got some new, new uh, aggregate in here. Look at it. a glass bead. Soda bottle. He's gonna he's gonna use that. So most most of that block is all all sanded down except inside the fins and everything. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. So uh, let's we'll see what he does. We cranked the cranked our uh, compressor up to about 110. So we'll see what he does. He got he's got a brand new piece of glass in there and everything. He's all ready to go. Watch your face. Watch your face. There we go. All right. We'll see how he does. Look, you hooked the vacuum up and almost pulled his window in. Oh, there we go. He had the inlet blocked up. Still, still a lot of suction in there. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see it. The gloves are blown up. Oh, man. That's a pretty powerful vacuum there, buddy. Wow. Oh well. Let's see if it works. Alright, let me check up on the employees here. Daddy dirt bike putting rings in his uh his little machine there. How's it going? So right, so far so good. Alright, let me check up. Mike here's cleaning up his pistons. One down, three to go. Alright. Now now let's check on this one here. Brought his own machine. How's it looking in there? It's working pretty good. The, uh, Open it up. Yeah. I don't know if we told you about this new blast media I got. We got some glass here. Yeah, that's, uh, it's very coarse. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not working as well. It's working, but not as good as the sand. We had to bump up the pressure a lot higher than we would with the sand. But yeah, we almost got like 130 pounds of pressure on there. Yeah. It's doing the job. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at it. Nice and clean. Yeah, maybe maybe it's a little too coarse. Maybe we'll get medium next time. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's. Uh, what do you got? We got to flip the top. The top and the sides, and 
No, no, you're good, good to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looking good, buddy. All right. All right. Hi, right, tubes. Little dirt bike finished uh, sandblasting this in, in between all the fins and everything. Did a really nice job. So I can take the tape over there. I was just protecting the epoxy that I did the body work on. I didn't want to mess that up too bad. Mike's still working on his pistons over here. Last what number? One. Last, Last one? one yep. And a Road King. What Road King do? Check this out. Check That's this out. It's cool, manifold. Huh? Yeah. Let me go over this way. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's sick, buddy. Yeah. That's sick. Oh, yeah. It looks like one piece. Yeah. It looks like Faraday. It looks like Briggs made it. That's right. How about the exhaust? Oh, the exhaust That's even is. sicker. It is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see the exhaust. This, 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 both these only have... See if you can tip it down, buddy. Tip it down. Look at that. Good God, y'all. I'm loving it. Pretty sick. It is. That's going to look good on the machine. All right. Like I say, it's, it's only first coat for both of them. Looks pretty good, though. All right, we got to get back to work.